Hello friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Got something a little different for you today. Uh, I know a lot of folks are out there hunting the morels this time of the year. And uh, I found four morels yesterday evening and um, I didn't pick them because they were a little on the small side. I thought, well, let's just see if they grow up a little bit overnight. They, it looked to me like they did actually just a little bit. So I went out and picked them this morning, found one more small morel not too far from there. And I also found a false morel. And so that's what this video is about, is to show you the difference between the regular morel and the false morel. Now, according to an article in this month's uh, Missouri Conservation Magazine, the false morel uh, is eaten by people, but it can cause illness in some people. And they said in their article that there has even been uh, some deaths from the false morel. Well, I'm allergic to just about everything, so I'm not going to eat a false morel myself. Uh, but I do know a lot of folks in this area that do eat them, and they call them the big reds. And... Uh, they come out a little bit earlier generally than the regular morels and uh, they're, they look similar but they're not the same. So that's what this video is about, to show you the difference and let you see them. And I don't want any of my friends out there getting sick. Or if you do want to eat them, that's your business, but uh, at least you'll know what you're at eating. At first glance, when you see that, you think, well, that might be a morel. And it does kind of look like one. They call them big reds. Now, my eye doctor said I am profoundly colorblind. I don't see any red in that at all. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, if you look at the base especially, that really looks like a morel base. But let me show you what the differences are. Now, here's what a real morel looks like. Let me pull a couple of them out. Here's what a real morel looks like. See how it's indented? It's the only mushroom that has the indentions, the holes in it. You notice this one doesn't really have holes. There's grooves and things, but there's no holes, if you will. This one's also shaped like a small conifer, small cedar tree, something like that. The, the base on it looks similar, but the morels have a completely hollow base. Tear the base off and you can see how it is totally hollow. You can go all the way up inside the morel. Okay, you can see all the way up inside of it. On these, their base is somewhat hollow, but it's different. Uh, you know, it's gooey actually. When you open it up, uh, it's different. See, it's a little bit hollow, but it's kind of meaty looking and kind of, I guess, grayish color or something like that. Also, here's one of the bigger differences, one of the very biggest differences. You notice how the morel is attached underneath here. It's attached all the way around. There's no hole. The false morel is open under here, see? You can find openings back under here. It's more like an umbrella. It really does look a lot like a morel, but it's not a morel. This is a morel, this is not. So, my suggestion is you don't eat these. Um, like I said, I do know a lot of people that do eat them, and they don't have any problem. I had a friend who said he got really sick eating morels one year. My guess is he ate this. That's what my guess is. So you can see I didn't do too great, but uh, at least I didn't get skunked. These three here are pretty good size, decent size ones. I, would, might, I might also mention that you can find them like this in, in varying colors. These are all fairly similar colored. Uh, now keep in mind you're hearing this from a totally colorblind person. Uh, I understand they're coming kind of a gray, some browns, uh, this kind of a, I don't know, I call this kind of a dark cream color or something. I don't look for them by color, personally. I look for them uh, by the shape. And again, the important things about the shape is they've got the holes in them. They are attached at the base here. The stock is hollow all the way to the head. So that's the important differences between a morel and a false morel. Um, I might also add that you can find them much bigger. Uh, you can find them with really long stalks sometimes. Sometimes the stalk will be this long and the head's just that size, you know. So as long as it matches all the rest of the criteria, the, the holes in it, shaped like a, a small uh, cedar tree, and the uh, base is attached and it's hollow, you're good to go.